Ah, Chicago, the windy city, the city of broad shoulders, the city of 5G. Verizon has turned on its 5G network here in Chicago, and we've taken to the streets with a Moto Z3 to find out how fast it truly is. There's no truly 5G ready phone on the marketplace, but the Moto Z3 supports a 5G Moto mod that you snap onto the back of the phone. It can detect 5G signals and connect your phone to the high speed network. Otherwise, you're using LTE speeds. Now, the good news first 5G is fast. Not as fast as the 1 gigabit per second speeds 5G's advocates have been promising, but we routinely saw download speeds well above 300 megabits per second when we were able to connect to Verizon's 5G network. That has some practical benefits. We downloaded a half hour show from Netflix in about 43 seconds over 5G. On LTE, a similarly sized file took more than 13 minutes to download to our phone. Now the bad news, and unfortunately, there's a lot of it. Other downloads, like the nearly 2 gigabyte PUBG mobile game, arrived on our phone faster over LTE than they did when we used 5G. We're still trying to figure that out. While Verizon's flipped the switch on 5G in Chicago, it's only available in limited neighborhoods, and even then, connectivity is sporadic. The reason you're not seeing a lot of footage of us doing 5G tests is that when we went back to previous test locations where we had some success connecting to the network, 5G was nowhere to be found. That's pretty inconsistent performance, considering the 5G Moto Mod costs $349 on top of the $480 you're spending for the Moto Z3 phone. Now Verizon will be the first to tell you that 5G is a work in progress and that there's a way to go. It's going to be uh, built out in Chicago more and it's coming to 30 more cities throughout the end of 2019. At Tom's Guide, we'll eagerly see just how much progress is made delivering 5G's faster speeds.